Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on antenna arrays. What is antenna? Antenna structures designed for radiating and receiving electromagnetic energy effectively. Now what is antenna arrays? Antenna arrays is a number of antennas arranged together to obtain the directivity and other desirable properties. Now, I just want to give a glance about what is an antenna array. Antenna array is a group of elements or antenna elements arranged to provide desired directional characteristics. It is often impossible to generate a desired antenna parameters with just one antenna. So, antenna arrays is preferred. Here, an example is shown for you for arrangement of antenna. Figure shows a large array antenna with 27 antennas along with 3 radial road tracks provided a baseline up to 35 kilometers which is located in New Mexico. Now, we'll start with what exactly the antenna array benefits or advantages. With an array of antennas, we can increase overall gain of an, uh, of an antenna and provide diversified reception which also avoids interference as well as magni magnifies signal to interference plus noise ratio. Now look into various types of linear antennas. They are uniform, binomial, edge and optimized antennas. These are the various distributing uh, we can say non-uniform antennas. So coming to details of uniform distribution let us consider a linear array of five isotropic point sources with lambda by 2 spacing. The point sources are equal in amplitude and in phase. Then uniform distribution pattern has half power beam width of 23 degrees and relatively large side lobes. The amplitude of the first side load is almost 24% of the main lobe. But because of maximum directivity and gain uniform distribution is preferred now we'll look into the another distribution that is binomial distribution the amplitudes are arranged in pascal's triangle which means an inside number is equal to the sum of the adjacent numbers in the row above Let's consider here a 5 point source which has spaced lambda by 2 apart and their relative amplitudes are 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 which are drag, uh, taken from Pascal triangle. The binomial distribution pattern has minimum lobes, minor lobes and beam width is almost 31 degrees. The increase in beam width and current amplitudes required are the major disadvantages of this distribution. Coming to the next classification that is edge distribution. Edge distribution as power supply only at the end sources of the array and central sources are inactive. 
let five source array is considered the source array is just one zero 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 one here beam width of main lobe is 15 degrees which gives you more directivity and major disadvantage is minor lobes or the same amplitude as the main lobe if the distribution is between binomial and edge type then a compromised bandwidth and side lobe levels can be made so the next designed is optimum distribution an amplitude distribution of this nature from linear in phase broadside arrays was proposed by Dolpin Dol, which has further properties of optimizing the relation between beam width and side lobes. Dolph's distribution is based upon the properties of the T Chebyshev polynomials and is called as Dolpin T Chebyshev or optimum distribution. Let's take an array of phi source with lambda by 2 spacing so the amplitude distribution is 1 1.6 1 1.9 1.61 and yields the optimum pattern with the side lobe levels 20 db below the main lobe that is 10 percentage of the main lobe the beam width is 27 degrees which is less than binomial distribution now I would like to conclude with the key points by comparing all the four distributions we discussed today when we use binomial distribution minor lobes can be eliminated and the other hand the distribution has maximum amplitude at the center of the array and the reverse in amplitude distribution asserted the min minor lobes at most equal to the main lobes so the optimum distribution gives a best choose for us thank you